Pachashig, welcome. Welcome to unceded, unsurrendered Algonquin territory. Monique Manach and Dejnikas, Algonquins from Barrier Lake and Dojiba. My name is Monique Manach and I'm a member of the Algonquins of Barrier Lake. And I have to tell you how honored and how humbled I am to be able to address you today. Graduating from high school is quite an accomplishment. I know because I didn't. And it was many years before I finally ended up going to post-secondary. Uh, many years where I uh, struggled because I had grade 11. And so the fact that you've all graduated here today, don't think it's a small thing because it's not. It's huge. And I want you all to be very, very proud of yourselves. And I'm reminded of a story that we tell uh, in my community this story was gifted to me by uh, Jacob Wawadi, who was uh, an elder in uh, Barrier Lake. And the story is that um, the Creator had decided that she was going to make human beings. So she went to the rest of creation because she made everything else first. And all the plants, all the animals, all the trees, the fish, everybody, the insects. And she went to them and she said, I'm going to make human beings but they're, they're going to be weak and they're going to need your help. And so the rest of creation all got together and had a conversation. Do we help the human beings? What do we do? So finally they decided that yes, they would. So they went back to the Creator and they said, okay, we will help these human beings. So the Creator made a sacred fire and one by one, every member of creation stepped forward and put in a gift a strength, an attribute, into that sacred fire. They say from the pine, we learn patience. From the wolf, we learn family, we learn compassion. From the eagle, we learn love, and we learn to see clearly. And they say from lice, we learn persistence. So after every member of creation was done, a woman and a man stepped out of the sacred fire, knowing in their hearts and in their souls and in their minds and in their bones that we would not be here without the rest of creation and that we need them, we need creation, all of creation to survive and that we owe creation, all the plants, all the trees, all the animals, we owe them a debt of gratitude and that to live in a good way, with good minds, that we honor that and we honor the gifts that were given to us by the trees and the plants and the insects and by the animals. We honor what the gifts we've been given by the Creator and by doing that, we become the best people we can be. And so today, when you're celebrating this wonderful accomplishment, this amazing result of your hard work and persistence. Think about how you can take the skills that you've learned, the gifts that you've been given, and use them. So I'll, I'll say a few words to the Creator to open this space. Kachimigwich Jemnido. Thank you, Creator. Thank you for the water for the trees, for the plants, for the ones who fly, for the ones who swim, for the ones who crawl, for the furred, for the feathered, for the four-legged, and for the two-legged. And thank you for bringing everyone together here today to celebrate this wonderful accomplishment and the families of the people who helped you, your families who helped you accomplish this great thing. Kachimigwich, 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 Kachimigwich. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Hello, I'm Eric Hardy, a superintendent of instruction with the Ottawa Carleton District School Board. Today, as we gather to celebrate the class of 2020, we acknowledge and recognize that our schools and homes exist upon the unceded and unsurrendered territory of the Anishinaabe Algonquin Nation. We also acknowledge our shared and continued responsibility to honor, respect, and care for the natural world around us and all of its elements that support us, which ground us every day in our journey on this land. 
As this land acknowledgement is not ceremonial in nature, let us use these words to center our thoughts on the enduring Indigenous presence and Indigenous land rights to self-determination and sovereignty, while also recognizing and addressing the historical and current oppression of Indigenous peoples in Canada and around the world. Let us also use this recognition as motivation to acknowledge our privilege and in turn deliver on the calls made to us to decolonize systems and engage in new ways of being, learning and doing. Today and all days ahead, let us be reminded of our interconnectedness and commitment to community by humbly engaging in relationship building that honors and upholds the voice and the values of our hosts, the Algonquin Nation. Greetings OCDSB graduates. This year, the celebration of a key milestone in your educational journey took an unexpected turn. There's no doubt about it, our graduates and their families were disappointed that the traditional and highly anticipated public acknowledgement of your achievements would not be realized this year. However, I want you to recognize that while the shape of the acknowledgement of your graduation has changed, you are highly celebrated. Over the past 14 years or so, since your start in kindergarten, you have experienced excitement, engagement, anxiety, disappointment, accomplishment, and victory. You have worked, played, struggled, and achieved. Most importantly, you have been a part of a community and you have built a network. For some of you, that network is made up of people who have been a part of your world since elementary school. For others, the network is made up of mentors and friends who are a part of your community or your family. Whatever it is, my message to you today is to value that network of people, real people. It is this community that has inspired you, pushed you from behind, pulled you along from in front, and cheered you on from the sidelines. In this new digital reality, you will need to find ways to maintain and grow those real connections because people need people. Real conversations, real sharing, and real celebration. As you celebrate your accomplishments, I want you to consider this. The pandemic has changed your world. You are the first graduating class to enter this changed world. You are the graduating class that will be the architects of new social norms, new ways to celebrate, and new ways to build networks. You are among a community of friends and peers who have a shared experience that will continue to be unique to you. I encourage you to celebrate not just your completion of this first big life journey, but to anticipate the potential of the next journey, the one before you right now. Unlike any other graduating class before you, this class of 2020 truly has an open field ahead where you can invent new traditions, charge a new path, and create a new society for those who follow. Congratulations. Good evening, my name is Jennifer Coleman and I'm the proud principal of Korean Wilson Secondary School. I would like to welcome all of our graduates, their families and friends far and wide, and the staff of Korean Wilson. Although we are socially distancing for our graduation celebration, please know that you're very close to our hearts this evening 
as we recognize and applaud your achievements these past years. When I was thinking about what I would say this evening, there were two main things that came to mind. Yours is a generation that has faced great adversity and major jumping off moments in your life. You were just babies and learning to walk in 9-11, and our world was changed forever. Now, as you're learning to walk into your next phase of life, our world is again in crisis. COVID, Black Lives Matter, Indigenous belonging to name just a few. Your generation is a face of resiliency, and we are depending on your ability, your willingness, and your passion to lead us to great changes to make our world a better place for all. 2020 is more than a year. For optometrists or eye doctors, it's how they measure perfect eyesight or vision. And that's an analogy that is powerful for me. I would like to see 2020 as a year we started to th see things just a little bit clearer. Although we've had more challenges than we can count, I hope we learned some valuable things and our outlook moving forward has changed forever. I hope we have learned that relationships need to be nurtured and cared for because sometimes those people are all we have. I hope we've learned that essential services are the foundations of our society and they need to be valued and honored for the dedication and commitment to all. We now know that education and school is a privilege afforded to us in Canada. Tim McGraw reminds us to be always humble and kind and we know that we have to let the laughter reach our heart and our eyes as the masks may hide the smiles. Don't take things for granted. Change is swift. Value people and not things. Say thank you, slow down, and love life. Take the time now to reflect on how you have changed through your, through your high school experience and take those lessons into your future. We are incredibly proud of you and know that you will move mountains. Kareem, Kareem Wilson class of 2020, we are incredibly proud of you. Congratulations and good luck. Hello graduates, families, and friends of the graduating class of 2020. I'm Keith Penny your trustee for Orleans Cumberland. I want to start by congratulating the class of 2020 on your great success. Speaking on behalf of the board, it's truly been a privilege being a small part of your journey. As a school board trustee, I've had the opportunity to help shape the schools you attend. Your teachers, parents, and friends have had the privilege of watching you succeed in those schools day after day. It is a unique and unprecedented time in the history of the world, and you will have to face enormous challenges that our previous graduates have not. The days of normal have long since passed. However, in times of great uncertainty, there lies the opportunity to make the world a better place, to make someone feel special every day, to do a kind deed for someone who is less fortunate than ourselves, and to reinvent the world as a kinder, gentler place. I'll feel, I feel confident that you, the graduates of 2020, will do just that. Show the world your resilience, your passion, and your commitment. In closing, I wish all of you the best for the future and sincerely hope that someday our paths will cross in better times. Good afternoon.
Welcome ladies and gentlemen, teachers and administrators, family and friends, and above all, welcome graduates of the class of 2020. The class of 2020, think about that. For four years, we've worn our Power of Orange t-shirts with the class of 2020 written on the back. And now we can officially say that we are the class of 2020. One thing is for certain, this year has been remarkable in many ways. From fighting for racial equality, to combating climate change, to dealing with the global pandemic. And as we graduate, know that as a unique set of graduates, we will leave our mark on this year as well. On a day that feels just like yesterday, I got off a school bus that had just brought me from Henry Larson Elementary School to Kareen Wilson for grade eight day. When I saw the grade 12 students towering over me, I never thought I'd be in their shoes one day. I'm sure a lot of you felt the same way. But here we are, four years later with our grade 12 year and 776 days of high school coming to an end. For many of you, this is not the end that you might have been hoping for. Unlike the grade 12 students from grade eight day, we won't be able to walk across the stage at the end of the year to get our diplomas, and we won't be able to spend our last few moments as high school students together. Although we might not have gotten the grade 12 year that we all deserve, we have shown that we are ready and will be ready for any challenge or curveball that life throws at us. We have shown resilience as we face the pandemic with optimism. We have shown sacrifice as we stayed at home to help save lives and keep our community safe. And we have shown compassion as we supported our friends and family. Our perseverance during these testing times shows that high school, our high school years have taught us the lessons and the character traits we need to thrive in today's world. And as we celebrate our growth over the past four years, the most prominent emotion that comes to mind is gratefulness. As we graduate, we should take a look at the people around us. These are the people who helped get us here. To our parents who have loved and supported us from the very beginning. To our teachers and administrators who have inspired us to explore and question the world around us. And to our coaches and mentors who have pushed us to be the best that we can be. Thank you all. Our ability to conquer the many challenges of 2020 shows that we will do great things in the future and help make the world a better place. In order to do this, we need to follow Kareen Wilson's motto of carpe diem and seize the day. First, realize that nothing is impossible. If we do what it takes, we can accomplish anything. We are responsible for, for breaking our own boundaries as well as the boundaries of society. Today, there are more ways than ever to help change the world. Anything is possible when we take initiative and seize the day. Second, we should take risks. Taking risks means doing things that are outside of our comfort zone and always pushing ourselves to our limits. It also means setting high expectations, trying our best, and never settling for less than what you want to achieve. To accomplish great things, we have to take risks and take advantage of the present. Finally, we need to live in the moment. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy your journey through life. Don't forget to appreciate the things that are important to you. When we live in the moment, we are seizing the day and making the most of our lives. As a class, we are graduating, graduating in a very remarkable time. Although things might not have gone to plan, we will be the class that gets remembered. Our graduation will be a topic of conversation for years to come, because together we are the class of 2020. Congratulations once again, and best wishes to you all. Hi everybody, I'm Matt Luloff, your city councillor for Orleans, and I'm joining you here at your old high school, Kareen Wilson. I want to congratulate all the grads graduating this year. I've been so impressed uh, with you. Uh, I was here a few months ago uh, to see your fundraiser for Amnesty International, and the leadership of this class is absolutely outstanding. This is a really exciting time for many of you, but for some of you it may be a really uncertain time, and I want you to know that that's okay. There are many ways to get to where you want to be. After high school, I graduated from across the street at St. Matt's. I know that you probably don't like that very much, but go Tigers. Uh, I had no idea what I wanted to do. 
and I worked a variety of jobs, including being a lifeguard, I worked at a call center, uh, I made claymation films, I worked uh, at a, a video store. Those don't exist anymore, you've got YouTube, so don't worry about it. But I really had no idea what I wanted to do. I joined the Canadian Armed Forces uh, and did ceremonial guard here in Ottawa, uh, and then eventually deployed to Afghanistan with the Princess Patricians. During that time, uh, I thought that that's exactly what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. But I got injured while I was overseas, and like you, I was at a new, uncertain time in my life. I had to reinvent myself. I decided then to go to university, like many of you are doing now, but I was seven years older than many of my classmates, which made it a little bit challenging. But a challenge is fine. You want challenges in your life. So please, go ahead, seize this moment, uh, and find your own way. Many of you are going off to university, and I wish you luck with that. Some of you are going to college, and some of you are going to enter directly into the workforce. As long as you know where you're going, it really doesn't matter how you get there. So feel free to make mistakes, and do what I did, and fail up. You have to learn from these mistakes, and just move on, brush yourself off, and I'm sure that all of you are going to do such a wonderful job. You are the future leaders of our community, and I'm just so proud of you. So keep up the great work, and uh, looking forward to see you all uh, in the workforce uh, and at your doors. Take care. Hi, my name is Stephen Blay, and I'm the member of Provincial Parliament for Lanes. And I'm so uh, excited to be able to join you today to congratulate you on so many years of hard work. This is a really weird time to be graduating from high school, so it's a weird time uh, for all of us. Uh, but it shouldn't stop you from celebrating this enormous achievement in your lives. Uh, your entire childhood, your entire adolescence has been building uh, to this point, and you really should be very grateful and congratulate yourself on your hard work. At the same time, I'd like you to thank and congratulate uh, your parents, because they've been working uh, very hard since uh, you were only this big uh, to get you to this point, to open up all the options, uh, having a good education uh, will, uh, will lead you to be able to explore. Uh, please thank your, your teachers and your guidance counselors and your administrators and, uh, and everyone who's been involved in, in helping you get to this point. And don't let this pandemic uh, stop you from uh, enjoying uh, this moment in your life. I know you can't all be together, you can't have uh, a prom or a dinner and, and a party, but you can still celebrate together in other, in other means. And I would hope that you, you, know, you do that to really take in uh, this opportunity to be with uh, your classmates. Some I'm sure you've known uh, since maybe even you were in kindergarten and to really uh, celebrate uh, together. Uh, as your MPP, uh, I'm so very excited uh, for you, uh, for you to enter this next uh, stage in your life and uh, to see how you're going to give back uh, to your community. I think community service is, is so very important, whether it's uh, volunteering for an organization uh, that you love, whether it's participating in your church or your mosque or your synagogue or your temple, whether it's getting involved in uh, the political party that you believe in or helping someone uh, get elected. There are so many ways that you can give, uh, give back to your community. And so please take this opportunity to think about uh, how you're going to support the community that's been supporting you uh, for so for so long. Uh, something that uh, I learned uh, when I was about your age, and I take it with me all the time, uh, decisions are made by those who show up. And so if you want to see a change in the world, if you want a better environment, if you want to combat racism, if you want to uh, address social inequity, or you want to uh, take on uh, another important project uh, in your community, you need to show up and you need to be there. That means getting involved, that means voting, that means educating yourself about those issues and, and communicating with leaders, whether they're elected or, or business leaders or social service leaders, uh, to ensure that they know your point of view, uh, to get your ideas uh, and to act and be active in coming up uh, with solutions. Uh, it's, it's pretty corny to say, but you are the future of, of our society and our community. And we really need your ideas, your thoughts. We need your action uh, to make those changes we all know uh, we need to see. So uh, I look forward to seeing you out there. 
uh, knocking on doors, raising money for organizations that are that are important, seeing you lead the charge on promoting ideas uh, that are important to you and to your neighbors and friends and, and to all of us as we move forward. Congratulations again. Uh, enjoy this moment. Enjoy your summer. And I look forward to seeing you uh, in the community sometime uh, very, very soon. Hello, Karen Wilson, Class of 2020. I'm Marie-France Lalonde, your Member of Parliament. I know this year has been different and challenging at times due to the pandemic. Prom and in-person graduation may be on hold for the moment, but you know what? You did it. You are graduates. Vous êtes des diplômés. And I'm so impressed by your strength, your resilience, and your hard work. You are now starting a new chapter. Vous commencez maintenant un nouveau chapitre de votre vie. They will continue to be challenging days as you set forth to post-secondary school, the workforce, or whatever your unique adventure may be. But no one thing. Sachez une chose. Vous avez les outils pour réussir et atteindre vos buts. You are capable of reaching your goals with hard work and positivity. You already shown us how amazing you can be. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Félicitations à vous, chers finissants et finissantes de Karine Wilson. Hi guys. Uh, so everybody here at House Pizza just wants to say congratulations on graduating. Uh, we wish you guys the best of luck. We're very proud of you guys. Uh, we hope you have a great future and uh, have a great summer and be safe. Hi, congratulations to all the students grade 12 and this is Greek Plus. My name is Esma and this is Reza. You guys know us and we would be very happy to serve you every single year and uh, after the school actually, after graduation. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, congratulations, Big Wilson. Awesome. Bye. Hey, Wildcats. I'm Alex. And I'm Kayla. Sorry this year's athletic banquet couldn't be in person this year, but we got something good for you. I played field hockey all four years of high school, and my lesson is to pull right, wear your shin guards, and the pregame jams make all the difference. Over the past four years, I did cross-country running, Nordic, and track, and I learned that even if you suck at something, if you work hard enough, eventually you get good at it. Or at least, that's the idea. I joined the golf team, and I'm so sorry to the whole golf team who had to watch me golf, but my lesson is that sometimes in life, you swing and miss, and sometimes you literally swing and miss, and that's okay. I played volleyball for three years, and I learned that even though I was pretty bad at it, it's fun to just hang out with your friends. I was lucky enough to go to Offsa my four years of swimming and got to student coach the team my last two years. Make sure you know the rules of your race so you don't get disqualified. Barley. I joined the curling team in grade 10 pretty much just because Mr. B told me to. And I mean, it wasn't what I was expecting, but I learned that, you know, some things can be fun even if they're different. And that's why I didn't play basketball. I played two years of badminton. Last year I made it to the finals for badminton where winner goes to Offsa. And you guessed it, I lost. Out of four years of baseball, we only managed to have two complete seasons. But in those two seasons, we had a lot of stuff happen. I got to see Cooper break his leg, got to meet Kathleen Wynn. But most of all, I learned how to crack sunflower seeds to perfection. I played three years of soccer and got to travel to BC, Toronto, and Windsor with the team. And remember to keep rocking those orange suits and bend it like Beckham. And a message for the younger grades, get out and try a new sport, and if you don't like it, well, at least now you know. Get involved as much as you can, whether that's joining intramurals, joining a new team, or helping out with the athletic council. Make the most out of your time here and embrace the school spirit. And a message to the graduating athletes. We're sorry you missed your last season of high school sports. I thought the year was bad enough when we didn't have a curling team. Little did I know. We didn't get our last athletic banquet, or we didn't get to be first in line to get food, 
but let's be grateful for the time that we did have and for all the work that the school and the teachers put in for us. Athletics have played an important role in your school's journey. Coaches, teachers, and parents have finished their tasks of training you. Make sure you thank them by applying what you've learned in the next stages of your life. We wish you all the best in the future, and we will always be cheering for you. C-Dub will always be your personal fan bus. We'd like to take a second to thank the teachers, coaches, and organizers for all the time that you put in for us. We couldn't have done it without you, so thank you for everything. Congratulations! 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 Congratulations, grads! You did it! Congratulations! Congratulations! Good rid- I mean, congratulations, grads! You did it! Yay! Congratulations! I'm so proud of you. Bravo! Felicitations! Congratulations to all the graduates of the 2020 class. Hey, C Dub grads! Congratulations! You made it. We're gonna miss all of you. And believe me when I say it's truly been an honor and a privilege for us, the staff at Kareen Wilson, to have been a tiny part of your high school journey. Even though you're moving on to bigger and better things, just remember you're always going to have a little bit of blue and orange in you, and you'll always be a wildcat. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, graduate. Felicitations, tout le monde. Prochaine étape, le monde. Congratulations, class of 2020. Don't forget to keep being awesome. Congratulations, Wildcats 2020. Seems like you've survived. Having said that, I'm pretty sure you can do anything. So go out there, change the world. We're proud of you, very proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. I've taught you guys so many times, I know you can do whatever you want. You're going to change the world. That is always what I said about this group. Go out there and be awesome. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wanted just to think of something wonderful and wise to say to you, and I guess the best thing I can say is wherever you go, follow your heart. It'll always take you to the place that you should be. Congratulations again. You guys rock. Hey, grads of 2020, just want to wish you well as you move out into the world. I want to give a shout out to my amazing grade 9 and 10 drama classes, to my 3U class from last year. So creative, so fun. Um, I missed you guys this year already. And also to my badminton team. Hope you guys stay active, stay strong. Don't let this COVID-19 quash your dreams or your goals. Go out and take the world by the tail. You've got this. Hi graduates, it's Mr. Emerson here. I just wanted to wish you a uh, congratulations on your graduation and good luck on whatever you choose to do next year. If any of you make it uh, to be rich and famous, just remember to give me some of that credit for teaching you. And even if I didn't teach you, just give me the credit anyways. Hey grads, congratulations. We hope that the next chapter of your life brings you lots of amazing adventures. It was so great to meet you and work with you throughout the four years. We can't wait to see what your next chapter is filled. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Congratulations 2020 graduates. You have arrived and are literally a part of history in the making. May your high school adventures, friendships, lessons taught and lessons learned propel you forward as you blast off to this new life adventure. Be bold, be brave and be free. I wish you all well. You will be missed. Cyber hugs to you all. Congrats to the grads of 2020. I know that you guys are going to grow from this situation and I can't wait to see how you make your mark on the world. I just wanted to take a minute to say congratulations. You are all very deserving of the experiences that you have ahead of you, whether that's college, university, traveling, gap year, whatever you have planned. Um, you are known as being the cohort that is super respectful, kind, uh, and very studious. So those are all skills that hopefully will carry you down into your future um, and help you achieve whatever goals you have set forth. Hi, I'm just uh, 
recording a brief message to grads 2020. Congratulations, everybody. Job well done. And all the best for all your future endeavors. I hope you do awesome. Stay great human beings and have a great life. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye bye. Congratulations to all of our CW graduates. Hope you all the best in the future. Congratulations, graduates. Although this may not be the graduation year that you are hoping for and wanting for, what is important is what you've done at Queen Wilson for the last four years. We wish you all the best. We know you're going to go out there and conquer the world. We cannot wait to see what happens for you next. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Um, I know it's kind of a weird time right now and it's probably not how you expected your graduation to go, but try to think of this as a time for new beginnings where you can use your voice and make those changes that will make the world a better place. I know you can do it. Congratulations, graduates. I know this is not how you would have hoped to have graduated virtually, um, but you are such a special class and this is a special time to be graduating. Oprah had to address grads recently and she said that never has a graduating class been called upon to step into the future with more purpose, vision, passion, energy, and hope. And I couldn't agree more. You are special and we will miss you all. Hey grads, I just wanted to take a minute to say congratulations on an amazing career at Kareen Wilson. I know this isn't how you imagined your graduation would go, but as everyone's saying, you know, you're, you're making history here and I know you're going to continue to do so. So have an awesome future and I can't wait to see how you change the world. Hello, graduates of 2020. Congratulations to you all. You've made it here. Maybe not in the way you thought you would, <laughs> but uh, you are here and I wish you all the best of luck. And hopefully you have taken maybe something positive from this time, maybe more hope, more gratitude, maybe closer relationships, uh, maybe a better understanding of what is important to you. Um, that's my hope for you going forward. Take all the good stuff and just leave the rest. <laughs> Congratulations again. Hope to see to the grad of 2020 um, I would like to congratulate you for all your successes make sure that you seize the moment uh, and follow your dreams and be the best that you can be congratulations graduating class of 2020 from CW you guys are certainly a part of history this year and you are on to great things in your life I salute you New beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. So to you, class of 2020, let me say. Hello, class of 2020. I want to congratulate you all on your graduation. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to say how fortunate I feel to have met so many of you, to have taught so many of you, I'm so proud of all of you for how you managed and persevered during these times of the pandemic. You are a very special group. You will not be forgotten. Um, I, have, I haven't come across many groups of students as respectful and as courteous as all of you are, and that will serve you well in the future. Chaque finissant et finissante de 2020, merci d'être notre avenir. Merci pour les années d'efforts qui vous ont amené là où vous êtes aujourd'hui. Merci pour votre engagement et votre dévouement à devenir tout ce que vous souhaitez. Et surtout, merci à vous, mes élèves, pour toutes les années de joie que vous m'avez offertes simplement par votre présence et votre énergie positive en salle de classe. Ce fut un honneur et un privilège de marcher à vos côtés dans votre cheminement scolaire. Vous êtes une génération allumée, pourvue de grandes qualités pour affronter le futur. Suivez vos rêves, saisissez toutes les opportunités et n'ayez pas peur de relever les défis. Finalement, continuez d'être de fiers ambassadeurs de la langue française. Félicitations. In 1947, Martin Luther King Jr. wrote Intelligence plus character, that 
as the goal of true education. We are confident that your time at Crane Wilson has provided you with both. Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2020. Carpe diem. Congratulations, class of 2020. So once again, I'd like to say congratulations. You know, some days I don't know the difference between common sense and nonsense. And some days I, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen in my life or in the lives of my family. But uh, what I do know is that It's up to me to be the best person I can be. It's up to me to honor the gifts that have been given to me. It's up to me to, to bring light into the lives of others, to bring kindness and compassion. And by doing that, I make my life better. I make the lives of the people around me better. And if we all do that, then we'll make this world a better place. Now I know, you know, that there's a, a lot of energy and enthusiasm and, and I want you to, to keep that, no matter what life throws at you, because life will throw you curves. Life will throw you things that you don't expect. But if you keep your energy and your enthusiasm, and if you keep being kind regardless, It'll see you in good stead. It'll help you move forward. And it'll help you succeed in being the best person you can be. Because success in life isn't necessarily monetary success. Success in life is honoring the gifts that you've been given and being the best person you can be. And remembering, remembering to be kind and caring and compassionate to the people around you. So I'd like to close this space with a few words to the Creator. Kachimi Gwich Jemnado. Thank you for Creator. Thank you for bringing these young people to this place in their lives. Help them to have the kindness and the compassion that they need to succeed. Help them to see truth and hear beauty. Help them to use all of the gifts they've been given and help them to become the best people that they can. Kachimigwich, 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 Kachimigwich. Thank you. Thank you very much.